dad picks up. Dad, I got cancer. I got a surgery in a few days. In response, he says the most Indian dad thing ever. He says, okay. Let me give it to mom. <laughs> mom picks up. Mom, I got cancer. I got a surgery in a few days. Cancer? Stop drinking. <laughs> That'll do it. He was named one of Vulture's comedians. You should know. You should and will know in 2023. He will also be featured in the Netflix series Verified Stand Up later this month. And you can uh, now catch former SNL writer Nimish Patel at the Chicago Theater this weekend. He joins us live. Thanks for being Good with morning. us. Good uh, morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So give us uh, some other uh, Indian mom uh, advice uh, hacks that you've gotten over the years. Is, is it very distinctive? <laughs> Does she like what you do? Uh, she, my mom is uh, a 1,000 percent supporter of everything that I do. She's been in my corner since day one. Uh, but she's, I've realized uh, that all of my anxieties are because of my mom's superstitions. Uh, <laughs> like, I can't, I can't cut my nails at night or something bad is going to happen. <laughs> I'm going someplace and there's three of us in the car. There's got to be some fourth thing or the car is going to be off balance and something bad is going to happen. Oh, wow. Yeah. The traditions are strong and mighty and uh, uh, I'm working them through therapy for sure. Yeah, we all are. Yeah. <laughs> I read that Chris Rock discovered you. Is that true? And how did that unfold? Uh, Chris Rock, shout out to Chris Rock, my OG. Uh, I was doing a show um in brooklyn that i used to run with a friend of mine named michael che you might have heard of him yeah oh yeah and another friend named mike denny and uh i heard got wind chris was coming and i was like i gotta go up and uh in the bathroom i wrote a joke that i've been working on for like 10 seconds went on stage once chris was in the room it was right around cecil the lion had been murdered and i said uh why do we care about lions uh, i had four chickens today and no one laughed but yeah. Chris laughed, and, <laughs> and that was enough for me to keep going with the set. And I had one of these kind of old school blackout sets where I don't remember what I said, but apparently it was good enough for Chris to tell me I was funny. And uh, a few months later, I was writing for him on the Oscars back in uh, 2016. Wow. That's and tell great. us about that. You know, we always hear about this pressure cooker of writing for Saturday Night Live. Did you enjoy it? Did you learn a lot? It was uh, definitely a pressure cooker. It was one of the, the most uh, uh, intense environments from the sense of everyone around me is funnier than me. I got to keep it up. Uh, luckily, I had a, a few people to lean on and, and take uh, notes from. The greatest thing was meeting Charles Barkley. Uh, that oh, was really? the highlight of my, of my time there. Chuck is uh, a giant man in both uh, personality and physically took up my entire office. But man, what a guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And how does that compare to the White House Correspondents' Dinner that you hosted? That's a, a room of very self-important people. Oh, I was, a, I was a writer for that, for Hasan Minaj, when he did that in 2017, which was, I think, his star-making turn. Um, and that was one of those, who cares about all these people? No disrespect to, the, to, to you guys. Uh, yeah. The press is a very None important taken. part <laughs> of, uh, of American uh, discourse. But in that moment, this is the first year of... Uh, Trump's presidency, and it was our turn to uh, take some barbs at him when he had spent, you know, his entire campaign taking barbs at brown people. So you're welcome, Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of stuff will people see at uh, at your show this weekend at the Chicago Theater? You have commentary about just random stuff, I think, like elevator rides, asking women their age, <laughs> kind of uh, stuff like it, that. You know, I'm addicted to social media. Um, I think we all are. I think uh, everyone knows it's an addiction. It's like cigarettes in the 50s, you know, like everyone's doing it. And yeah. so no one realizes it's killing us. <laughs> but I guarantee you 10 years from now, there's commercials like, I used to Instagram three times a day. You know, I guarantee you, like, that's yeah. a, a large portion of the show is talking about uh, my own vices, uh, anger issues. And then I'm not ignorant to what's going on in the world right now. And uh, I definitely have some takes on that. But those are probably... Uh, better left for the stage rather than uh, yeah. a morning show. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, well, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. You can catch uh, Nemesh this Friday at the Chicago Theater. As mentioned, for tickets and information, go to chicagotheater.com. You can also see him in the Netflix series Verified Stand Up. The premieres later this month. And uh, social media, that's how you find him. It's right there on your screen. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Chicago, I'll see you Friday night. Friday All night. Right. All right. Thank you.